My name is Dan Whitaker. I'm from Northern Kentucky. I lived here most of my life. I grew up in Newport, went to Newport Public High School, although my family's Roman Catholic, we raised Catholic. My mom insisted that we go to church. My, uh, my parents, my dad was actually a Quaker, interestingly enough, um, and my mom uh, grew up with a Roman Catholic dad. So, um, so I lettered in four sports. I was a regional champion in wrestling. I played football, uh, had a really good team. We ended up losing, somebody was talking about Erlanger Lloyd. They were, I think, the state champion or state winner up that year. Um, I played on a baseball team that was a district champion, and I ran track, and, uh, and I could run like the wind. So uh, as, I, as soon as I was ready to graduate from high school instead of going to college, by the way, I was in college prep, but I had no idea how to get to college. Nobody even talked to me about it. So um, I went to the military where I was a, uh, a soldier, and uh, I went there because the truth is I thought I would be one kick-ass son of a gun, and I was. Um, I was in the 82nd Airborne, and uh, I was a squad leader, and wow. I found out. <laughs> I found out along the way that I have a brain, and uh, and I'm actually quite smart. Although I, you know, goofing around with these kids in the hood that I grew up with, six, you know, four brothers and a sister, and everybody called me stupid. Of course, we called them stupid too. So I really thought I was stupid until I got in there and I started finding out. I got picked, and I got picked again. I got picked again, and, and finally I realized I could read a book and understand anything. I read the I read the instructions for Monopoly, and I think the first book I ever read was called The Other Side of Midnight, which was a little dicey. I read it from cover to cover, and by the way, I got A's and B's in school. So I didn't read any of the stuff that they assigned us. I scanned it. So I'm a pretty smart guy. And so when I got out of the military, frankly, I had a parachute next, and I got out of the military, I decided that I would um, go to university. I went to NKU. I graduated with honors, a degree in marketing, and went to work as a technology recruiter and uh, worked at an engineering company. Then I worked at an IT company. I worked at the fifth largest software manufacturer in the world, and I went to my boss and said to him, hey, why can't we get our stuff done on time? And he's like, I don't know. Why don't you figure it out? And he made me a project manager. I ended up getting certified as a project manager. I've been to school at MIT. I have executive training in design thinking. And, um, and I, I ran very, very large projects. In fact, uh, PLM person, I got a relationship with you. I worked on the $20 billion project that Kroger's running, at, running right now. Um, so anyway, I'm at home sitting around enjoying myself, loving my wife, and I keep hearing about uh, uh, election integrity issues. Uh, it started with Hillary complaining that she lost because of voter fraud. Uh, then Bevin, and then Trump, and I was basically thinking, geez, that's sour grapes, man. They ought to be good sports. And then I started reading, and I started following Seth Keschel, and I started following uh, Lady Draza, started following Dr. Frank, started following Professor Clemens, Mike Lindell, and then all of a the sudden they started talking about Kitten County, and I'm really getting ticked by this time, okay? And so I called, so, so what I did was I started talking to, to Seth. He's willing to help any veteran. So I'm, I'm talking to Seth and Seth is saying, hey Dan, your county is just as bad as anybody else's. So I started talking to my county clerk. My county clerk says, hey, you know, she's talking to me nice. And then I said, well, how do I get to the data? And she's like, well, you fill out an, uh, uh, a request, an open records request. As soon as I filled it out, she stopped talking to me. Yeah. She shut me off. I had to do research to find out how you get the data. I became a candidate. I found out we have 142,000 people registered vote, but we only have 130,000 people who are even able to vote. I found out we have 287 people who are over 100 years old who are registered to vote. We, we looked at the first 30, and, and, and 18 of them are already dead. Yes. We found out that people are registered at the post office. We found out people are registered at the UPS store. We found out that 8,193 people were registered to vote after November the 3rd. Yep. You think I'm not ticked off? So registration, we're going to fix that. Yes. I'm Dan Whitaker. Look me up, Danny Whitaker, W-H-I-T-A-C-R-E dot com, Danny Whitaker dot com.